So I figured I'd show you guys how I do the countersinks on our fingerboards. Basically, they come out of the press and they look standard drill, one eighth. Um, I used to have the drill press to do the two drill bit process, but we don't have any more, so we use this little Dremel piece. I got it at Harbor Freight, I believe. Yeah, I was previously using another piece that was more triangular but it just got bent right before I started doing this video. So we're gonna have to use this little spade piece, then attach this round globe piece to do the really, really good contour into the countersinking. I did a couple boards already with this, just to jump ahead. So like I said, they start off like so, then go to this bit, to this. And then what we're gonna do is, Change that bit out. Now we have the globe bit. So there we have our first countersink step. On to the next. Again, we're not going to press really hard. We're just going to just enough to touch it to round that boy off. Rounded. Let me clean all that out so that we can see the veneers. But that's it. That's all it takes. It's a little bit more longer than doing it with the drill press, of course. It takes way longer to get all these little holes. This was easy. The longer part process is with the spade bit to get that nice slope on the inside of the hole. So that I'll show you what it takes. <laughs> nah. So again, always make sure you go straight up and down. Do not keep the Dremel in the area for longer than <laughs> a second or two because it will start burning the wood veneer and you will lose the color. It will just be burnt holes. So I can see, as you can hear, I'm doing it in little bursts. Just in and out. You just repeat the process. Nowhere near yet. I'm going fast because I've done it a million times, but take your time with this. You know, hold it in the air if need be. Gets dusty. And if you do end up burning your veneer by holding it too long, just take a couple quick passes through and it should clear up. Other than that, that's your first holes. See the other side real quick. Also wear a mask. Don't sit here and breathe all this dust like I do. 
because it does make a lot of dust. As soon as you start screaming, I know it's good. That just sounded horrible. As soon as you start screaming, it sounds, I know it's good. I hope you guys can hear what I'm saying. For your sake. For your kids' sake. Let's do this one. Pretty much the loud screech means you're pressing too hard. And, uh... <laughs> you get the idea. There's no good way to say that. There's no other way to say that. Let's see if we can burn this. There it is. Hello? Hello? I think I kind of messed up on that one. But anyway, long story short, it's cool. We oh, went all the way through on that. Let's switch them out. I want to see these orange veneers. We'll be hot. Careful. <laughs> what time is it? It is. It's freaking late here. <sighs> Once again, big ups to my little guy for getting me this awesome thermos. Before. You can make a horror movie with these sounds. It's amazing. I'm totally a sound effects and imitations kind of person all my life. So. Making all these weird noises is just great for me. You know, I appreciate. E E A. So I guess it's going too fast. Uh, top graphic. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. <laughs> Please leave a comment if you'd like me to stop doing this stuff.
or leave a comment if you think you want to see more of this weird stuff. Either way, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and have a good night. Bye.